Good afternoon, five, six, and welcome to week two um, in our um, curriculum journey. Okay, um, we last week we started to look at how we could make our voices heard, and we looked. Um, we started by sharing our um, prior um, learning and looking at ancient Greeks. Okay, and specifically we looked at Greek philosophers because we knew. Okay. Um, that they were very popular for having their voices heard in different ways, okay? We looked at Socrates, Aristotle, um, and we looked at Plato. And remember, we started to find patterns at how some of them were students for each other. I'm um, sorry, they were students of each other, so they learned from each other. And we learned about how some of them, uh, one of them tutored the famous Alexander Great, okay? But more importantly, we looked at how their voices were heard. OK, so we saw that one liked to write um, letters in detail, one liked to love to write um, dialogues and one enjoyed debates and verbalising um, their arguments. OK, today we're moving a bit, um, we're moving forward in time and we're looking at another significant character. We're looking at Anne Frank. OK, and specifically when you're going through the lesson, keep thinking about how Anne Frank's voice was heard. What, what did she do to make her voice heard? Okay, and then it will tie in at the end. So Anne Frank, she was born 12th of June, 1929. Okay, and she passed away um, in March, 1945. And she was a Jewish girl born in Germany. She gained international fame, okay, following the publication of her diary, which documents her experiences hiding during the German occupation of the Netherlands in World War II. Now, okay, the important part here is why did she need her voice heard, okay? And we can see here already, all right, she wanted to document her personal experience, okay? I, um, and what we, found, what we find out is um, she's documenting her experiences because she may be able to read them when she's older or she might be documenting her experiences. OK, so the future generations, you guys could um, have a look at what she experienced. And so in history, um, in the in the future, sorry, history wouldn't repeat itself. OK, it wouldn't happen again. So I've put two links on the screen. Um, the, sk the screen in front of you, OK? So if you're in school, your class teacher will um, click the two links separately. OK, whilst watching the two videos, OK, please take down notes of anything you find significant. All right. Um, your teacher will pause throughout and ask questions, I'm sure. OK, think about why Anne Frank wanted her voice to be heard. What was happening in her life that meant that she wanted other people to know about her experience? Now, if you're a home learner, the, the two videos are in front of you here. So I've got two QR codes for you to scan, OK? Um, and then you can watch the videos and take notes. Remember, when you're taking notes, you're not copying word for word what's being said in the videos. You're just pausing and writing down what you think is really important. So just to repeat, to watch those two videos, you can either scan the QR codes here, or you can type these by word by word into your search browser or if you're in school click the link excellent so now you should be um you should have more information on what was included just snippets of what was included in Anne Frank's diary and why she began to write the diary in the first place okay so these words come from Anne's diary in 1942, after Anne and her family had lived by the rules set by the Nazi party for two years, they went into hiding to escape from the persecution, imprisonment, and maybe even death by the cruel Nazis. I'll read a part of the extract. After May 1940, the trouble started for the Jews. Our freedom was severely restricted by a series of anti-Jewish decrees. Jews were required to wear a yellow star. Jews were required to turn in their bicycles. Jews were forbidden to ride trams or in cars, even in their own, sorry, even in their own. Jews were forbidden to go to theatres, cinemas, or any forms of entertainment. 
Jews were forbidden to use swimming pools, tennis courts, hockey fields, or any other athletic fields. You couldn't do you sorry, you couldn't do this and you couldn't do that, but life went on. Anne was famous for saying, I'll make my voice heard and I'll go out into the world and work for mankind. OK, so in your books. Um, or if you're in class, this might just be your discussion point. How did you think, first of all, Anne felt at this time and why? How do you think Anne felt at this time and why? OK, brilliant. So you might have ideas like. Anne felt frustrated and felt annoyed, OK, because she's being forbidden to do these things just because um, of the, the, the culture she was born into. You might have also put that she, she felt scared, worried, unsure about what was going to happen next. OK, what else did you come up with? Secondly, again, in your books, how would it feel to be forbidden to do things you enjoy? Is, is there anything that um, you are forbidden to do. Is there a reason why? Does it does it break a rule or law? But how would you feel if your luxury, such as playing tennis, going to the cinema, or eating the food you like, was completely forbidden just because of the family you you were brought up in? Okay, put your answer. Excellent. Okay, we will move on. So Anne and her family moved to Amsterdam in 1933 after the Nazis gained power in Germany. As persecutions against the Jewish population increased, the family went into hiding in July 1942 in hidden rooms in her father Otto Frank's office building. OK. So. Discuss with your partner, OK, if you're at home, you can put this in your book, please, because we'd love to see what your answers are on Dojo. How would you feel if you were hiding for two whole years? How would it feel? What would it what would you be go what would you what experiences would you be going through? Um, what would your thoughts and feelings be like? So after two years, the group was betrayed and transported to concentration camps. Seven months after her, her arrest, Anne Frank died of typhus in the Bergen Belsen concentration camp. Within days of the death of her sister, Margot Frank, her Sorry, I've got her sister. Sorry, I've got it wrong. Here we go. Passed away in the concentration camp within days of her sister, Margot Frank. Her father, Otto, the only survivor of the group, returned to Amsterdam after the war to find that her diary had been saved and its efforts led to its publication in 1947. So, how would you have felt to be portrayed? So, you had been hiding for such a long time. And then someone told where you were, how would you be feeling? And if you think about today, what impact do you feel Anne Frank's, sto Anne Frank's story, diary, has had on the world? OK. So you can pause, you can answer the question, we'll move on. So. According to Anne Frank's diary, Jews were forbidden from doing many things. Can you pause the video? Can you name three of them? Brilliant. So there were activities such as going to the cinema, playing, um, playing tennis, um, accessing transport. OK, any of those the list that we saw previously. Yes, you would be correct. And there were many, many more things that Jews were unable to do. They were forbidden of do, from doing. Number two, who played a vital role in Anne Frank's diary being published? Pause the video. Have a go. Amazing. Yes, it was a, her father who managed to um, survive. And when he returned home, he saw that the um, the diary had been saved. So it was his efforts that led to the diary being published. OK, the reason I put that in there, because it's important to know that. Yes, having your voice heard is essential in making change. However, it always takes the help of others. OK, to make sure your voice is heard loud and clear. OK, let's move on. So Anne Frank kept a diary to ensure generations that followed her, her story. It is through these diary entries that children today can build a picture about the horrific events she endured. Your task today is to create your own diary entry 
so that the future generations can read and understand how you are currently feeling. What key events have happened in the last year? How do you feel about them? Is there any evidence you would, sorry, any evidence? Is there any advice you would give to future generations who may experience similar events? Okay, so what, what I mean, what we mean by this is that you're writing a diary and say we could bury your diary or we could put it under the floors in your classroom or in your room. And in future generations, a child picked up your diary and they were going through a similar situation where they had to spend, um, I'm thinking of the, the lockdown we've had to, to endure and they had to spend time at home. Could you, if you spoke about your thoughts and feelings and what you did to get through it, um, how you felt when you felt low, how what you did to make yourself get through those troubling times. I think, just like Anne Frank's diary, that would be great for the future generations because then it's like it's like a um, it's like a guide for them whilst them seeing what you went through. Okay, and then please, I put your success criteria here. So just your thoughts and feelings, put it in order and and in first person. I want to know about how how um, how you've been doing. Okay, so. Complete your diary entry, okay? Keep thinking in the back of your mind, it's for the future generations to read so they can know what you went through it. Because we, we went through a real significant um, year, okay? And, and it's gonna be in the history books. And then once you've finished, remember to um, upload your, your work to Dojo so we can, we can store them and we can read through them, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Um, last home learning topic video, because then we're back in school. I cannot wait to see all of you back into school okay um, and i'm sure you're excited to join us okay have a great week and i'll speak to you all soon